right, welcome back. Gunmen kidnapped travelers in Oshun. All right, the news in detail. Gunmen on Sunday night abducted travelers along Omon slash Erin Ijesha Road in Uriade local government area of Oshun State. The nation has land. All right, our correspondent gathered the travelers were were led by gunmen who took some of them to nearby bush around Orioke, Omo, while others were left at the scene. The corps commander of Amotekun outfit, Oshun State General Bashur Adewebi, confirmed the incident. We did not know the numbers of people that were kidnapped by gunmen, but we have drafted people to the scene of the crime to secure their release, he stated. Police spokesperson Mrs. Yemisi Okpalola also confirmed the incident to the nation. She said two people were kidnapped on Sunday evening and our men have been deployed to the area to rescue them. Our security sources said the commissioner of police alerted the Amotekun Corps about the kidnap. The police with the Amotekun Corps have been mobilized to the scene. The area that they kidnapped those travelers has been given security agents issues for a while now. There was a time that they shot Amotekun Corps there. The numbers of those abducted by the gunmen are not known. All right, details shortly. All right, my people. Hmm. Now, wow, it's not an easy thing at all. As far as this country is concerned, my brother, hmm. what do we do? What do we do? What can we do? As in a lot of questions have been asked, and now a lot of people are like, in this country nowadays. In fact, eh, with the way the whole thing is going, the whole you no, know, the whole you know, kidnap issue, insurgent issue, banditry, rape, and you no, know, the likes of them. Everybody is tired. I don't know. Somebody was even saying right now that hmm, you can. There's no even minute that you will open the social media, even when you put on your TV that you want to hear news. Everything you hear is all about kidnap, rape, mayhem, banditry, gunmen. What is happening? Waiting to happen. Why is it that? This so-called kidnap issue have, have now become the latest trend in town. That is what everybody is now involving themselves with, simply because there is no security to follow them up. And that is it. And then the man even said something that actually baffled me. He said, if care is not taken very soon, they will be going from house to house, knocking. We want to kidnap, we want to kidnap. It's not funny, my brother. Immediately I heard that, I was like, God, it will never be our portion. But the thing is, we have to do something about this. If we don't want this to come up, if we don't want it to occur, we have to do it. And somebody is even texting me right now that, hmm, Pilado, what are you saying? This one that you are saying that house to house, it has started in the north. Too. But that's, that's what is happening in the north. Someone is saying, yeah, now in the north, that will happen. But the thing is, what are we doing in every other places we are right now to make sure this does not happen? And that is it. Look, you can imagine. Expressway, government will be waiting, banditry will be waiting to kidnap for ransom. And the worst scenario has even been that sometimes when they even collect this ransom, they still have to kill their victims. A lot of things have been heard. We are you no know, we are always online, we are always on social media. We have been hearing a lot of you no know, no in fact God should just help us so that we'll stop hearing this this negative news, bad news from one end to the other. As you are dropping one, another bad news is coming in. Banditry here yeah, in the north, bandit banditry here yeah, in Ogun State, banditry kidnap here yeah, in Oshun State, everywhere. In fact, a lot of people have been like, well, the thing is, after some time, if they see that it's getting too much, they will leave the country for them. Can you imagine? 
people are now planning to leave their own country, their own father's land, because they have seen it that if we remain here, who do we complain to? We have been laying complaints, yet on a daily basis, people are dying. People are being kidnapped. And when someone is being kidnapped or when someone dies, that is the end. Ah, yes, they will just say, yeah, sorry, oh, oh my God. Ah, this thing, eh? This thing will happen, eh? God, no, go let us see him again. After, like, my brother, after one day, my one of my friends was saying that after one day, people don't cry. The next day, they don't forget them. And they tell you, people don't cry, cry, cry. The next day, they don't forget them. Even at that point where they are even crying, say, oh, yeah, now, wow, I beg, eh, she will not get cool. Go be a day. Inside that drum, go be a day. This, these are people that came to mourn. Because they are just like a normal level. Now our prayer is that this will not continue to be normal level in this country for us. It will not continue to be normal thing in this country for us. Because a lot of people have tried their best. Okay, fine. Let us make out our own security network the vigilante let's forget about the military it's like the military you know they have a lot of jobs on their neck let it, let us put it on on that you no know, pattern that they are too busy then fine because we will love our lives we love our people we love our you no know, we love our loved ones okay fine let us keep you no know, protecting ourselves so because of that let our take come out now According to what has been gathered, the Amotekun of Oshun State, I don't know, they, maybe they got there late or they were they, they were not at alert to have you know, been able to capture them. But they got there like maybe after the whole thing has happened. And according to the news so far, some of these victims, out of the people they got, they took some people to the bush and the rest they left on the road. I don't know what actually caused that, what actually happened. But the thing is, this so-called kidnapping has become the order of the day and something needs to be done. Something needs to be done oh, before it's too late. That's why you see somebody like Sunday Igbo, Igbo will come out and like, hmm, we are going to face them. We don't want cheating. We value lives. As far as Southwest is concerned, we value life. So we will not allow these people to you know, ravage our our town and that is a cause for concern my prayer is that the good lord will continue to help us to be able to help ourselves because we need to help ourselves before god will ask okay hey, i don't even try hey, let me so but, but you are not even making any move any move to you no know, to make sure this thing you no know, stop that is it how long are we going to continue like this banditry every now and then now in ocean state only god knows you can imagine Oh my god well that is it my people on this one meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless